Inverting gates are sometimes called negative logic. Before we look at that, we will quickly recap what we know about positive logic, normal and null gates. Here is the truth table and symbol for an AND gate. As its name implies, the output is only one if both inputs are one. The truth table shows the output value Q for every possible combination of inputs, A and B. The OR gate has a different symbol and different behaviour. Its output is 1 if either A or B or both are set to 1. If you look at the definitions of AND and OR gates, they are both defined in terms of how input values of 1 can combine to create an output of 1. If both inputs are 0, the output will definitely be 0. With positive logic, you can't make a 1 out of zeros. That's where negative logic comes in. There are three main types of negative or inverting logic gates. The NOT gate, the NAND gate, and finally the NOR gate. A NOT gate is a very simple gate with one input and one output. The output is always the opposite of the input. As you can see from the truth table, when A is 0, the output Q is 1. When A is 1, the output is 0. A NOT gate is sometimes called an inverter because it inverts the output. 0 becomes 1, 1 becomes 0. What is negative logic used for? Take the example of a simple burglar alarm. There is a switch on the door which is normally closed, that is switched on, when the door is closed. So the switch has a value of 1 when the door is closed. The alarm bell, of course, should not sound when the door is closed. The alarm should be off, or zero in logic gate terms. Now what happens when the door opens? The switch contacts open, so the door switch turns off, giving us a value of zero. At this point we would want the alarm to turn on. So in the input, the door switch has a value 1, we want the output, the alarm, to be 0. And when the input is 0, we want the output to be 1. This is exactly what a NOT gate does. This is just a simple example, but in fact negative logic is used a lot in computer design. Basic circuits such as binary adders, counters and computer memory all rely on inverting gates. There are several different ways to write NOT in Boolean algebra notation. Sometimes the word NOT is used. Sometimes this symbol is used, this is the NOT symbol used in mathematical logic. Alternatively, a line above the value also indicates NOT. We can combine a NOT gate with an AND gate to create another common type of inverting gate. This is called a NAND gate. It has a symbol which is similar to the AND gate, but with a small circle on the output to indicate that it is an inverting gate. Here is the AND gate truth table compared to the NAND gate truth table. As you can see, the output is the opposite of what you would get from a normal AND gate. The output for 0 and 0 is 1 instead of 0. For inputs 1 and 0 it gives 1. For 0 and 1 it gives 1. For 1 and 1 it gives 0, whereas the AND gate would give 1. As you might guess, we can also combine a NOT gate with an OR gate to produce a different type of inverting gate called a NOR gate. Again it has a symbol which is similar to the OR gate but with a circle on its output. Comparing the truth tables you can see that the output is inverted compared to the OR gate. Reading then the output column the OR gate shows 0 1 1 1. The NOR gate gives 1 0 0 0 the exact opposite. 